What's up Capricorn? It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with your first half of February 2022. One second guys. Alright Capricorn. Alright so this is for the first half of February 2022. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides to the Highest White Light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the first half of February 2021. What's coming in for the sign of Capricorn for the first half of Feb February? Oh, okay, Cappies. An uh, ending. Okay, so you guys can be changing jobs. So that can be like the, the stop of something old and the beginning of something new. I feel like you guys are going to get some um, prominent information. You got two aces, one in reverse, one in the upright. All right. So this can be the loss of like uh, a foundation with a person or a foundation. So you guys can be moving, leaving a relationship or leaving a job in the first half of February. Wow. You guys got three aces because y'all got an ace at the bottom of the day. So it's definitely something going on here. Um, there needs to be more passion implemented in all of those areas that I named in your life. So you guys could be feeling low on energy or something to that extent here. But somebody is definitely, whew, somebody is communicating some type of truth. All right, you guys need to clear up some type of communication problems with each other, you and someone else. Whether that's a business partner, your employer, your partner, or somebody that you live with, okay? Because it's going to be different for all Capricorns, but I'm definitely getting some type of... Something is coming full circle here. You're going to be getting some type of insight as it pertains to a situation that's coming to an end. Alright, so... You guys are soulmates, but it's something here. It's like a lack of passion in this situation here, so maybe you guys... Uh, too much arguing or not enough uh, fair communication could have came between like how you, how passionate you guys were for each other. I mean, somebody just not inspired in this situation here. All right, somebody is not seeing something for what it is either because you guys are actually soulmates. So if there's somebody here that's like losing momentum, then it's something that they definitely need to check within themselves because you guys are actually soulmates, Capricorn. So whoever this is, they could just be going through some bumps and jumps in their life and it could be causing like a lack of affection, a lack of passion. Maybe you guys aren't really being intimate, all right? So, you know... And I feel like it can be due to, like, um, disagreements, all right? The disagreements can be turning somebody off, making somebody feel like somebody that they meant to be partnered up with, work with, live with, or in a relationship with is not compatible with them. Like, they feeling like they don't mesh well with you right now, or you feel like that. Because somebody is happy that something is coming to an end. But honestly, y'all way of communication can be coming to an end. If it's been bad communication, arguments, or a lot of lies, I feel like that's something that's going to change here. Alright? Alright, so let's see. Let's further the information on what's coming in for Capricorn. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a lack of harmony between you and whoever this is. Y'all not working well together. So once again, this can still be like a co-parenting situation. <sighs> Something is not healing because one person is kind of holding a grudge. All right. They could have felt betrayed in the past and they not letting it go. Okay. So they may be feeling like a sense of lost hope when it comes down to the situation. Somebody maybe need to, um... Like, go off on their own and kind of find their soul's purpose. Like, that may make them feel better because somebody could be feeling inadequate or they like they not even in alignment for what it is that y'all got going on. I'm seeing a magician here. All right. So, this is a very powerful soulmate connection is what I'm getting. 
the four of fire. Yeah, somebody moving out. Page of cups in reverse. Somebody is not happy about the news. Some type of news here. It's the king of water energy. They in reverse. So somebody could be rejecting this situation, but they nervous about something. They could be, y'all, if y'all pregnant, this person is nervous about that. They may feel like they not in alignment to have a child or another child if you guys already have children. All right, but here's the thing. I, I feel like we're two people are not on the same page as that. Somebody is fully aware of this connection and manifesting it and calling it in. And the other person is kind of resisting, like uh, turning their back to the situation, looking for their two of cups elsewhere. I feel like this is somebody that could have been like going through a lot of situations where they were faced with temptation, having a hard time turning it down. We got the king of water here in reverse. So yeah, somebody feels out of alignment for this right now. And that could be why they're rejecting things. Somebody can be kind of suffering in silence on a mental level is what I'm seeing. <sighs> Actually, who, whatever child or whatever new beginning is being exposed here that this person is nervous and trying to run away from is destined. It's meant to happen in a positive way like this. If it's a child, this child is meant to bring some type of positivity. But somebody is like not happy about the news. Either they feel like they lack in the stability or they feel like they haven't had a chance to kind of find themselves and embrace their own soul's growth. So pretty much I just see a situation where two people may want very different things in life right now. And it could absolutely be because there could be an age difference or a difference in a level of maturity. Like somebody here is embracing stability and they want a, a stable foundation. They want a strong connection. They want to heal things here. Okay. But there's somebody here that's just like holding on to pain, not having a faith, not feeling stable enough, down talking themselves, kind of being immature in their emotions, possibly even needing to heal some inner childhood wounds. But I feel like people around them can be enabling these childhood wounds. This person also may have like, I don't want to say straight up mental issues that they need to address, but it can be something minor like uh, insomnia or um, anxiety, something to that extent. Let's see. Whoop. Let's see what's going on here, Cappies. Why is the three of pentacles in reverse? Main male in reverse. Yeah, it's a masculine energy that's like not on board with something here. Not being cooperative. And God is trying to lead this person. This person could be thinking about going into the military to get themselves together. All right. Something happened in the past that this masculine just act like they can't forgive. Like, if they let that go or if they talk about that, then I feel like things can return to normal. Like, the problems can be resolved here. But, yeah, somebody is deciding to, like, move out of a family home. So, that's the foundation that's being broken here. If somebody is moving away because somebody doesn't feel whole within themselves. And this person can be very gifted, but their gifts can be lying dormant. All right? This person may actually need like a tarot card reading to figure out like what it is that they should heal because they feel lack. Like this person feel lack. They feel, they may be like Capricorn, if this is somebody outside of you, you may feel like this person is very much in victim mentality, but that's like the lost child within them. They need to address some things that are not at peace within them. Okay. That's making them feel less than, and they could be projecting that energy onto you. So, again, somebody here is trying to manifest marriage out of this situation. And the other person is trying to manifest finding themselves. So, that's where you guys are. That's where there's a, like, a lack of meeting of the minds. This person may seem like they don't care or they're not concerned, but it's like their main focus is other things. They see Capricorn. This could, You could be the feminine energy. They, oh, oh, my gosh. 
oh, this person got interest for somebody that really don't have interest. They tempted by somebody that really don't have interest in them. Okay, so they could be like overlooking something that could be the potential of marriage because they love from an emotional place. Like they might love from like physical beauty or temptation, seduction, stuff like that. So this person is moving forward and they feel like they're being guided forward towards somebody new. But this person don't feel the same way about them. Okay, this person may just want to like gain their autonomy, some type of independence here. And one person is trying to manifest marriage. Why is the magician here again? Yeah, somebody want the union. Yeah, somebody want marriage here, okay? They want somebody to step up to the plate and be the man in their life that they meant to be. Be the divine masculine energy. So Capricorn, you can be having faith that this person can be a divine energy, all right? Keep in mind, it could be the man trying to manifest with the woman too, because it is a privileged lady here, but somebody else here is too tied to like sexual activity, seduction, temptation, you know, fling, stuff like that. Page of Cups in reverse. So this person just emotionally immature. They haven't fully embraced their emotions. They feel like they have bad luck when it comes to love. They feel like they're not stable enough for this feminine energy. Yeah, so this person may choose karmics out of... You know, feeling more accepted by them. Yeah, this person has to grow into their maturity. Um, Capricorn, I'm worried that this person going to end up burning a bridge with you, okay? By being too emotionally immature and kind of like rejecting this situation to go find themselves. But in the midst of them finding themselves, I see this person sowing their oats as well, okay? At least for the first half of February. So let's go ahead and check on y'all money, Capricorn, for the month. Let's see uh, what's coming in for Capricorn as it pertains to their finances, career, financial stability. And since that was the general, then we will go ahead and pull like a love spread before we exit. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, baby. See, this person going to regret walking away. All right? And I feel like you're going to be saving this money. You could be going from, like, holding on really tight to your funds to, like, getting some type of windfall. This can be the lottery. This can be some type of winnings, you know, an inheritance or a business taking off doing really well. Capricorn, Okay. So, yeah, don't be tempted to spend. Spirit is trying to tell you to save your money. Like, these blessings are coming in for a reason for you to invest in. Okay? So, I'm seeing that King of Cups pop back up as well. So, you could be moving in a more positive direction. And whoever that person is that was coming off as emotionally unavailable, they may be opening up their emotions. I'm not trying to say once things start to become well for you. But, once again, I mean... I feel like this person is going to be holding on to their money. Like, whoever this is, like, they're going to be holding on to what little bit they have while you're going to be abundant and you're going to have positive movement forward when it comes down to your career here, okay? So, even if one cycle is closing, another one is opening. And it is, like, it's things coming full circle, things that's going to be lucrative for you. I feel like you could feel betrayed by this person. You could feel like they are not dedicated to you. So you can end up finding out something about that other person that they're going towards. All right. And you may be, because that person may end up betraying them. And you could be feeling like fair is fair. All this fair and love and war. You broke my heart for somebody else and now they broke yours. Why is the 10 of pentacles here? But yeah, your money is looking good. You know, if you felt like you had to save or penny pinch before, that time is over. And this person may be representing themselves in your life so that they can basically, so you can help them with their burdens here, all right? You didn't even see this coming, Capricorn. I feel like this is going to come out of nowhere. Like, you're going to put this, this intention out into the ethers and not realize how quickly it's going to come back towards you. And it's because you are obedient in whatever it is that you're doing. You know that this is a divine connection and you've been loyal to it. And also, I feel like you've been doing a lot of inner work. You know, this person may not be changing, okay? And that's the reason why great fortune is not coming in for them. I feel like this person may serve as a blockage. So if this person leaves and you all of a sudden start doing well, Capricorn, that's why. It's because this person is entertaining other options, minimizing your worth, 
and making you feel like they still have to search outside of you. Making it making you feel like you asking for too much as it pertains to a commitment. Yeah, I'm telling you. This person may be coming back by the end of um by the middle of the month to apologize, to expose some things to you that might hurt you, but I feel like it's going to help this person to release some stress and heaviness off of them by expressing themselves, like I said, or like many people say, uh, the truth will set you free, okay? So I'm not going to lie. This person is ex uh, experiencing extreme blockages while you are experiencing being free from problems. And honestly, Spirit may be telling you to let this person go ahead and go fix their life because while you are having this new beginning that's gonna make you so happy and like I said some of you some of you guys could even be pregnant and spirit could really be blessing you for being happy about this while this other person is kind of just they I don't know yes again it just seemed like a blessing just coming from the sky okay and it's because you literally are carrying out this act of bringing in a very special child and your partner may be resisting it Capricorn they may be kind of leaving you hanging here, going off to go find themselves and other things. But you will not be burdened. You will not be burdened at all. I see you really, um, you know, making things happen in your life. Things taking off for you. Things getting off the ground as it pertains to like some type of business that you want to do or some type of creative endeavor that you want to embark on. Okay, so let's see what's coming in for love. Because that first one was a general and love was coming up. But who knows? Like, I don't know if you guys are actually pregnant or not. It could just be new ideas that's getting ready to bring some light into your life. You know what I'm saying? Date night. Ooh, somebody want to take y'all out, Cappies. What's coming in for Capricorn's love life? I'm telling you. I feel like you really going to be going back and forth in your head once something is revealed about that King of Cups energy on as to whether you should even stick by this person's side anymore. You're going to see something on social media, okay? So I don't know if this person is posting up somebody else or if somebody tagging them in something, but I feel like by the middle of the month, you're going to have your answer as to if you want to still deal with that person that, uh, yeah, I'm getting divine masculine energy. Mm-hmm. So, again, somebody is going to be resolute about a decision that they're making. We can clarify to see what that is. But I'm seeing hurtful words being said, possibly on the internet. So, hopefully, you guys are not getting into some type of internet spat. Okay? I'm getting that this person is too... Yeah, you saying something. Y'all having some type of argument about this person in their lustful ways. Alright? So, honestly, Capricorn, if you holding on to this person, you may have some type of change of heart because you know that you are divine feminine. And you don't deserve to be dealing with this divine masculine while he at his low point. So you could be deciding to go out on a date with somebody else. You actually could be meeting another divine masculine. As I was telling people, you know, sometimes and some of us may end up with a divine person that wasn't intended or assigned to us as our divine masculine or divine feminine, but they could just be divine. And they could have went through similar situations that we face where our divine partner didn't, didn't come into alignment with us this lifetime. So that person would typically experience that same type of, you know, basically inconvenience. But yeah, somebody too tempted by lust. And it's like two people are not hearing each other, not seeing eye to eye here. So, Cappies, y'all can be going on a date with somebody new this month, okay? If not, then this is you. Like, you could see something online you don't like, and you guys can decide to come together and talk about what you've seen online, and it might escalate to an argument. But we're going to go ahead and check the energy and see if this is somebody new. Let's see, why is date night here? Y'all, I'm telling you, some truth is going to be told, and it is going to be hurtful. Yeah, so this is your divine masculine that's coming in to tell you a secret about what been going on, why y'all in separation, why this person been resisting you, okay? And I feel like you've been having so much faith, Capricorn, that you guys can overcome this difficult time. I feel like this person is actually coming in to try to make things fair. But after what you find out, Capricorn, or after some things that said online, you may be unsure whether y'all can work it out or not. I'm not going to hold you up. Why is Divine Masculine here? 
Because somebody, yeah, somebody ready to come in and be that man that you needed them to be. But ironically, it's going to be after some type of uh, money come in for you. But this this person's secrets are being revealed. They could have been dealing with somebody that um, you already caught them dealing with in the past. Or somebody from their past. An ex, like somebody before you. Okay, so let's see. Why is it unclear here? It's in reverse, man. So this could be y'all like deciding to let something go. Okay, and if it's not y'all letting something go, then is this person being clear on the fact that they don't want to be for the streets no more? Now, I ain't going to lie. This might be an argument or whatever the case is, but this person coming in to plead their case and let you know that they ready. All right, so why is hurtful words here? Yep. I'm telling you, yeah. So it might hurt you to find out that this person possibly slept with somebody else or was intimate with someone else or had a fling with someone else. It could, And this person is coming up as a princess of cups. So this is somebody that they feel is like very sweet, docile, you know, uh, young at heart, or they could be young in general, okay? And maybe that's why this person chose this person because you seem to be very strong, firm, and stable. And, you know, it's something about that energy that can be intimidating to this person since they feel like they're not enough. Okay, so that's been y'all reading for the first half of February. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.